What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we are attempting some very scary stuff. So this pop right here has a pretty banged up window. I mean, the, the pop box itself is not in good shape at all anyway. So no pops are being harmed in the making of this video, but I'm gonna show you how to replace the window and the sticker on a pop. Now it's controversial as to whether or not you should replace the window and then like sell a pop, but for your own personal collection, I think that this is not a bad idea, especially if you have one, maybe you had it for a while, something happened, the window got damaged, and well, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. But first, you're gonna need another pop that, well, you can take the window from. You're gonna need another box, so find yourself a common or something like that, something that you don't care about that has a good window. And for me, we have Ebony Ma right here. Uh, this is an Avengers Infinity War pop. One thing you do wanna make sure of though is that this area on the head right here is going to completely cover up this area, or, or, or this is going to cover up that anyway, I should say, because there's glue on the back of this little head right here on the plastic, and the glue's really hard to remove. So if you don't find one that will definitely be covered up by the head on your new pop, you're gonna have glue kind of showing on the outside, which we don't want. So this one works perfectly to replace this Spider-Man Noir pop window with. So this is what we're gonna get started with. And basically what you're gonna be left with is something that looks a little like this. So we have a box without a window on it and we have a window. So you definitely wanna start out by obviously opening up the box itself. You wanna get both sides nice and open here for you. So you can see here on the inside of the box, we have this plastic window. It's glued down to the cardboard underneath it and that kind of goes all the way around obviously to the other side here. So we have all the plastic things. Now there's no real good way to actually get this off. I mean, people have said to use a blow dryer, uh, people have said to put it in the freezer, but in my experience, regardless of what you do, you're gonna end up with kind of paper shavings on the pop window, just like you see right here, just this little paper stuck to the glue. There's no pretty way to get this off. Now to make all this happen, you're gonna need some tools here. I recommend having a butter knife, you're gonna need a razor blade, which you wanna be very careful with, and then some card stock here that we can use to kind of chip away at the plastic inside of the pop here, and then some super glue. These are the basic tools you're gonna need, and you're also going to need a blow dryer, but this is going to come in handy for removing the sticker. So the best way to do this is to take your razor blade here, and you wanna get underneath that lip of the plastic, because it's not glued down all the way to the bottom. So you wanna get your razor blade underneath the lip of this plastic right here. You can see I have it just slightly under the plastic there. And then you just kinda wanna push straight and forward, and you just wanna make a little bit of a groove so we can stick a cardstock in there and be able to get this kind of pulled up more. Now, you can see that I'm definitely ripping the paper off of the inside of the box itself. And that's just gonna happen. I mean, there's no way around it. But now that we have a little bit of room there, I recommend it taking this cardstock, a piece of cardstock. I've cut kind of a few from this Legion of Collectors thing. And I have different sizes depending on what I actually need here. But you wanna take this cardstock here and then shove it in that little area that you made with the razor blade. And then from there, you can just go ahead and like kind of lightly saw your way through the plastic here. I know it's <laughs> that sounds really bad, sawing at the plastic, but that's what you wanna do. You're sawing at the glue anyway. So we're just gonna kind of push that through there. And you can see that I have the whole bottom part removed now, which is good, that's what we want. So we're gonna do that on all of the sides here. So basically you can see here that I have pretty much all of the um, sides broken away, all the side windows. Everything's pretty much free and clear, except for this part where the head is. You can see the head right there. It's got a strip of glue right here and a strip of glue right here. And that's pretty common for all of the heads that I've seen anyway. I kind of did some research on some of the pops that I have just to see how this plays out. This cardstock method works the best there. All right, so I just broke that window away. So we're free and clear 
as far as the window goes. And as you can see, this is it's pretty messy now. We have a bunch of paper shavings all over this and a bunch of paper all around the edges. And now we're gonna have to clean this whole thing up so that it looks a little bit prettier. Luckily, most of this paper right here will peel away, at least the paper that's not attached to the glue. We can just easily peel that away. A good thing you can do here is also use that cardstock, like I said, and just push up on the edges here. And then you can see where that border is gonna be. And you can even shave a lot of it off. But you wanna be careful not to bend your new piece of plastic here because, well, you're gonna ruin the whole project at that point. One thing that I was gonna say that you do probably wanna have on hand is some dust remover, like a little spray can of dust remover. And that's gonna help us remove all these little paper particles on here just to clean it up so that it's not messy when we install it. I'm just gonna spray away at that guy a little bit. Now this is not going to look perfect. You know, I'm, I'm doing this with some common pops and an already busted Spider-Man Noir just so I can show you guys this process. But I did successfully complete this with uh, my uh, blue chrome uh, Vegeta. So I actually finished that process successfully. Now I will flash some pictures on the screen of what this originally looked like. Um, it, it, it was like kind of warped and stuff. It had some heat melt to it. But as you can see, I mean, you can't even tell that I replaced the window whatsoever. So pretty good stuff. Now, essentially you're gonna wanna do the same process for the pop in which uh, has the busted up window that you wanna fix, but you're gonna wanna take extreme caution removing the window from this. So, I mean, if you have a mint box, you don't wanna mess that up. So use extreme caution and in no way am I responsible if you screw up your pop because this is all kind of just the wild west as far as I'm concerned. But you do want to use extreme caution. Now the reason I say you want a butter knife is that's a very easy way to pop the lid off of a pop. And you just want to like kind of pull up like that. I know it sounds seems dangerous, but that's the best way that I found to get a pop box open without, you know, bending up the little folding flaps there. So we have our pop. We're going to set him aside. We don't need that at the moment. And we can easily take off the top. And like I said, this box is not mint. So this is not meant to be a reference for like a mint pop. I'm just replacing the window on this to show you guys how to do it. But like I said, you wanna do the same thing here with what we did on this guy. Take the window out, but be extremely careful because you don't want a razor blade to poke through the front. You don't want to rip you know, the character's head off right here. You, you wanna be very careful with the pop that you're replacing the window on because, well, that's the uh, essentially the valuable one in this case, or the one that means the most to you. All right, so I just broke this window free, and you can see here if I take it out, we have the window itself, it's all messy. We don't have to worry about cleaning this one up. We do wanna hold on to this though for now so we can get that sticker off in a little bit. But we're pretty much done with uh, the, what I would call the hard part, the most daunting task here. And that is keeping the box of the window that you're replacing in mint condition. All right, so now that we have our box without a window and our new window for the box, uh, you wanna go ahead and kind of practice aligning this whole thing. And as you can see here, that little patch of glue right there that was on the bigger head on the other box or the other head on the other box, it's gonna be completely covered by our Spider-Man head and you won't be able to see that. And you can already see here, there's a major difference in the window. I mean, look at the window on the other one that I had, it was super dented up in the corner. So this is essentially what we're going to walk away with. All right, so now is where we are going to start needing the super glue. And let me just preface this by saying, be very, very careful with the super glue. If you get any super glue on this window here, you're done, son. You're gonna need another window because that is not going to come off. And I know a lot of people have used like rubbing alcohol to get this glue off, but the fact of the matter is, or even if you use like Gooby Gone or whatever, you run the risk of damaging this plastic and you're not going to see any of this glue paper stuff right here once the window is in the box. So I don't find it personally necessary to remove all this, but it's pretty much up to you. So like I said, you just wanna make sure that you can practice putting 
this plastic window inside of the box. It's kind of like the most advanced game of operation that you can play because essentially we are going to have super glue all around these edges and on that part and all around here and we're going to want to hold this in a way to where we can slide it in the box without touching any of the edges because you don't want to get super glue on the inside of your pop and then setting it down in there and then forcing it into the corner of the box as you can see like I did right there. So all right so this is where all of the skills that you have will be tested. And you wanna obviously get the cap off the super glue. Be careful, I, I'm using white pieces of paper so I don't get super glue all over my desk here. Um, so I would recommend putting something down uh, so that you don't run into the same problems. But take your lid off your super glue, kind of get it primed a little bit, just get some glue coming out there from the top. I know that's kind of hard to see. And we're just gonna go around this with super glue and I'm just putting it on the edge of the paper here. I know it's hard to see, you don't need a lot. So this is essentially going to be a matter of patience. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right where that glue patch was behind the head. Now once we have the glue on here, you can see this is a very delicate process now. Um, we are going to put it inside of the box. Now obviously make sure that you don't have glue on your workspace when you set your pop box down. That would be bad. Uh, but like I said, we want to put this in a, in a way, put this in here in a manner to where we can hold this without touching the glue. Don't get glue on your fingers because you touch the box then you ruined everything. And then we are going to just very slowly and carefully like a game of operation. I keep saying that but it's a perfect example. You're going to want to slowly put this inside of the box without touching any sides. And you're gonna stick your other hand in there and do that. Get it in there as far as you can. And then you want to just, see how we, now we can kind of leverage it, uh, we can kind of rest it at an angle in here, now that it's in here. Once you have it that far, you know, if you have any glue on your fingers or anything, make sure you wipe them off and get everything perfect because this is the moment of truth right here where you're just gonna wanna push that corner up against the side wall. And you can see there, we have a perfect little landing. We have it all lined up. What you wanna do now is flip your box over, right, keeping that corner intact and then from here you can just kind of push down on the inside of here just to adhere the rest of that window to the bottom of the box. Again, if you're gonna do this on an expensive pop, I, I probably recommend practicing a couple of times with a few you know, cheap pops that you have because you don't wanna mess up your grail, right? That's the whole point here is making the grail, restoring the holiness to the grail. And you can see here, I'm just pushing down all these edges. And once you've pushed everything down, I mean, here you go, the hard part is done. We have a brand new window on this. We have replaced it, this janky window with a nice fresh new looking window. So we're actually done with the most terrifying part of this process. Uh, I managed to keep the box in the same condition it was when I started this and I managed to get a nice clean window inside of there. So now what we have to do is we need to put on the sticker, right? We have this Walgreens sticker right here that we need to get on our new window here. Now you don't have to do this. If you don't care about the sticker, then don't do it. But this is probably one of the easier things to do. The easiest way to get off these stickers is to use a blow dryer. This is the recommended way to do it. There are tutorials about this online. Um, but what you wanna do is just get it a little warm and then we're gonna just pry up underneath it and peel it away. It should be pretty simple. Get it nice and warm. Anyway, once we have this nice and heated up, what we've done is activated that adhesive under there again. And you can take a razor blade and just very carefully kind of scoop under the edge of the sticker. You wanna be very careful because the razor blade can cut the sticker. Obviously we don't wanna do that. Now at one point or another, you should get that 
up enough to where you can just slowly peel off the sticker and get it out of there. Just be very careful and slow with it. Boom, see we got off everything off the window. Sticker, it's pretty clean. Now once we have the sticker, we can go ahead and take our box with our new window and just put it on there. I mean, however you want. You can make sure you line it up nice and straight this time because some of these stickers are, are pretty nasty as far as like being actually lined up. Now I like to flatten the box out here. You can flatten it out like this and just kind of work around those edges because well, depending on how carefully and patiently you peeled off the sticker, uh, you'll be able to flatten out those sides. And you can even take a butter knife here too and just use the edge of the butter knife, the bottom of it, to just smooth it out around the edges. You're not gonna mess anything up here. Just don't press too hard because you'll dent the plastic and we just replaced that. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. Anyway, the bottom line is now we have our Spider-Man Noir box with a nice, fresh new window. And let's go ahead and pop him in there and just check out everything in full. Now, if your glue is still drying, be careful when you put them in there because this plastic right here can chip away at that window that you just glued in there. So be careful putting them back in if your glue is still wet. But we've pushed him back in here and you can see now we have a nice clean Pop, congratulations, you have successfully, or not successfully, I don't know, because I'm not you, but we have everything replaced here, and this thing is looking pretty fresh as far as the window goes. Like I said, this box was already dinged up, which is why I used this for the experiment here to show you guys how this is done, but everything on this, I mean, you would not be able to tell that I did this. Even looking inside of it, it's really not, and excuse me for manhandling this box, it's already ruined. Even looking inside of it here, it's really not looking a ton different from like a regular pop that you would pick up. You can see some of the little cardboard tears in there and it might be easier to see on this camera, but you're not gonna be able to notice too much. I hope that you found this process helpful. I, like I said, it happened to me and I wanted to replace my pop and so, here we are. I want to replace the window on my pop anyway. So here we are with this whole tutorial because I felt like it was something that since I, I figured out a method that worked out for me, I would share it with you and we'll all be a happy family. So anyway, I know this video has run on a little bit longer than my normal ones, but if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when new videos like this or just my standard pop reviews and things like that drop in the future. And leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you thought it was helpful. Uh, I appreciate it. Share it with your friends, your family, your grandma, whatever. You know, let it be known that if you have a damaged window on a pop, you can replace the window, you can replace the sticker, you can get everything like that fixed up. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. And thank you so, so, so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate all the support here. This has been Box Attack. I'm Dom and we will catch you later.